guys, I have John Lieber joining us at Real Talk Media Studios, and we're going to talk about something a little different today. I'm excited to hear what he has to say. So my question to you today, John, welcome, by the way. Thank you very much for having me. You're Beautiful morning here. Oh my goodness, it's a great morning. I love the way the day has started off, So, and it's a pleasure having you on this day. Thank you. So, you know, a lot of people are moving out of California, right? A lot of people are moving into California, but yeah. those that are moving out, where's the best place to move to if you're moving out of state? So it's interesting, you know, when we look at California in 2021, we had the first net loss of, of people in a long time. Um, and I think there is a trend. People um, want to, are moving to smaller towns um, and they're just, they're moving. And I, I think people can work more from home. Um, there's, there's a lot of reasons. Um, and so a few, you know, to preface this, a few years back I started looking at thinking, okay, I'd like to diversify real estate outside of California, what are some great places to go to? Um, I looked in Arizona some, I looked in Nevada, like Reno and Las Vegas, um, Oregon a little bit, Texas, I don't know, that's, that's pretty, far, pretty far east for me. I'm not going all the way to Tennessee where some people are moving. But uh, Northern Idaho, Coeur d'Alene area always intrigued me. Okay, um, I wanna hear more about that. A lot of people are talking about Idaho. Yeah, so it's, I had, been, I had been through Coeur d'Alene um, many, many years before and just always thought it was this, this great place as a kid. And so uh, I went there and I knew that was the place where I was going to start trying to invest and, and do some business and just um, look for property. So we bought property out there a few years back, um, have tried to continue buying more. I've actually got my real estate license in Idaho now as well, so I can do some business in Coeur d'Alene. Okay. Um, but the, the beauty of it is, one, the natural beauty is just, it's amazing. I mean, we think we have great weather in San Diego, and we certainly do all year. But when you get up into that area in the summer, there's just nothing like it. Um, the outdoor activity, all the water, um, like the, the lake is 80 plus degrees, the rivers are 80 degrees, people are, are boating and there's hiking and biking and, um, and tubing and floating down the river and all this stuff that's just, great we don't, we don't see outdoors. it here. Yeah, in right. the, the mountain feel, it's just, it's, okay. it's just one of the best places I could imagine. And in terms of investing, we saw Coeur d'Alene have the single highest appreciation year over year in the nation last year. I think it was close to 50%. Um, and I believe they're projected to be in the top five in terms of appreciation this year. So they're seeing, they're seeing a lot more people coming, but it's still kind of a small town feel. Um, so if you're thinking about investing somewhere, I think that's the number one place where I'm looking to invest. I'm, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Um, but I think as we see people move to areas where they want more freedom, more space, I think that's going to be number one choice for a long time. Um, and there's places if you want if you wanted a turnkey condo that you can just lock the door and leave for three months. There's plenty of really nice places like that. Um, there's hundred acre ranches. There's places on the river and the lake and everything in between. So okay. um, it is it is beautiful country up there. And it's called the town is called Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene. Coeur, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Idaho. Yep. Oh, great. So the flight is into Spokane, Washington, and it's about a 30-minute drive to the east from there. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah. It's got kind of a Lake Tahoe-type feel, and I'm glad you had a hard time pronouncing it and weren't that familiar, because I think that's kind of the cool thing about it. Everyone knows about Lake Tahoe, and that's a great spot to go, um, and this has a similar feel, only a little bit smaller, and I would say more, more lakes, more things to do. A hidden gem, Yeah. right? Okay, well, thank you so much for that yeah. piece of information. I have my son's friend, family actually just told my son, it's his very best friend, that they're thinking of moving to Idaho. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I want to know what's in Idaho. All these people that are in California are thinking to relocate to. So Property taxes are a fraction, too, okay. of, of what we pay here. Okay. And one of the big things is you don't get reassessed every time a property sells. Oh, very so different. So Idaho is one of the few non-disclosure states. So... You know, you buy a house for, uh, I guess, a million dollars as a starter home in San Diego. Your property taxes are going to be $12,000 a year. You buy a place for the same price up there, well, you're probably going to buy something for less up there. Um, but your property taxes might be three or $4,000 a year. Yeah. So there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of reasons why it's a great investment as well. Okay. Well, thank you so much for sharing that today, John. You're welcome. John joining us at Real Talk Media Studios.